Okay, uh, it's a pickups video. Um, we have won this. It's a pickup involving a game. <laughs> yeah, bit of a spotlight video. Uh, I've received a new game uh, from Bumfun Software. There will be a link in the description thingy. It's a Spectrum title and it's a new release. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Why has he got this t-shirt on? Well, there's two reasons. One is it was a gift from the wonderful chaps at TNB. Um, let's see if I can do this. Uh, the Bear, Eddie, Sean, Nath, what am I missing out? Rob and Pete. Yeah, I think everybody follows them, or most of them. If not, you should. You should. <laughs> um, if I get a chance, I'll put links to all their channels in the description thingy as well. Uh, but I might forget. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, they sent me this ages ago because they know I ate Dizzy. Ate it. Uh, but it sort of leads on to the video, so I thought it had to at least get, get one air in before I take it in the garden and burn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a lover of Dizzy. Uh, anyway, um, let's get to what we're getting to, which is the game. Uh, yeah, it came, came a couple of days ago. I have had a play, a play um, and it's the new release from the Sanchez crew. Um, and it's, I can't say it. I'm going to say it's Radark Sphere. I'm going to say the V silent. <laughs> Because yeah, I can't do it. It's, it's Radark Sphere. Now, I am going to put a close-up of the uh, artwork. And in fact, I'll do that now. As promised, just now, by me. <laughs> Here's a close-up look at the artwork of this uh, brilliant new release from uh, Bumfum Software. Uh, nearly got that out. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, we have the, uh, the card thingy. There we go. Uh, I can't pronounce that. I'm going to say it's Radark Sphere. Yeah, we'll say the V silent <laughs> by the Sanchez crew. Uh, uh, I love these little card things. Uh, Personalised Die Hard Edition. So we've got that. And then we've got the slip case. I know Eddie loves a slip case. <laughs> yeah, so there's the artwork on the front. Um, the side. I think the other side's the same. Yeah, it's the same, but upside down. And then there's the back. Lovely that. And then I'm going to try and try and get him right close here. I'm not sure if it's going to focus. Let me take my hand away. There we go. Can you see that? Rest in peace, David Birdsell, lover of eggs. That's brilliant. <laughs> I finally met the big time. Yeah, so that's the front and back of the slipcase. And then... We slide that off carefully. We have the cassette where you're going to get lots of glare, unfortunately. So they've got a limited edition, diehard edition again. Radark Sphere by the Sanchez crew. There we go. And uh, there's the back. If you can, if you want, you can pause it now and uh, read all the bump. Some uh, graphics, the RZ Spectrum screenshots. And then again, right down there at the bottom, if it'll focus, uh, rest in peace, David Birdsell, a lover of eggs. It's a lie, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. Inside, we've got a lovely red tape. And a full, full set of instructions. So there we go. That is just a work of art, George. If you're watching this, that is a work of art, mate. Love it. Right, back to me. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Back to me in the studio, over there. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so you should have seen the game by now. <laughs> yeah, um, this is wonderful. I just love these. And uh, as you saw in the clip... Um, it's, it's an amazing amount of detail George has gone to. Uh, it's it's a, it's like a dungeon crawler type thing. Uh, but there's a bit of strategy to it. It's very clever. Uh, and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do now is... Uh, there's no point showing you this because you'll have already seen this. Is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to spin the camera around. So you're facing there. And I'm sat there. And then we're, we're going to have a bit of a play. We're going to have a bit of a play. Yeah, uh, so thanks again, George, mate, for sending this over. Um, it's brilliant. Uh, you must, if you don't, you must get into the homebrew scene. Uh, it's all right just collecting all this old tat, 
but there's some really good stuff coming out now. Uh, for, not just for the Specky. I know there's some. I saw a wonderful game on this C64 last week uh, where you could change your character, and I can't remember the name for the life of me. Somebody will tell me in the comment section, Dave, you're an idiot. Oh, that's so and so. Yeah. Um, we're getting stuff for the Mega Drive, like Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood. Um, yeah, there's people programming for all sorts. Um, it's only a matter of time before stuff starts turning up on, on the PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, so no, no games for the PlayStation. Anyway, I finished rattling, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. I'll still be there, but you'll not be able to see me. Yeah, and we'll, we'll have a look at the game. See you in a bit. As you can see, the game's loading into the specy at present. Uh, quite a long load of this one, so I just I just want to show you the loading screen as I usually do. Uh, I think they're a big part of the specy, and uh, I'm, I'm always gutted when there isn't a screen to show. Uh, but here we have an excellent one showing our wizard character entering some sort of portal, maybe the entrance to the dungeon. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, then there's the release date of the game. Um, I think that's when it was actually finished program programming but uh, obviously the physical release is 2020 i don't think it's been released anywhere else apart from on uh bum from software uh, although i might be wrong <laughs> i know i know they've done a couple of games of San the sanchez crew they did um aliens neoplasma which is excellent it plays a bit like uh, alien 3 on the super nintendo um yeah yeah that's uh, I, I don't own that one but i have played it it's, it's very good definitely what i want to pick up and they've also done a game called Delta Shadow, um, which I've not played of at all. Not played at all. Not even seen that running. Um, yeah, excellent little loading screen. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fade you out and I'll fetch you back in when we get to the menu. See you in a little while. And we're back on. We've stopped the tape. Uh, I'll just turn it up because there's some excellent music in this game. Um, in fact, it has a different tune on every level. <laughs> so you'll not get to see that. Because the chances of me getting to the second level are slim. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that loud enough? I think that's loud enough. Anyway, let's crack on. So it's just telling you about the game. Uh, if you want to read all that, uh, then just pause it. There's, there's no point me just sitting here in silence for those who aren't interested. And then we can see our wizard approaching. And here we go. So our options are new game, options or credits. Um, I think it's, yeah it is. We'll go down to the credits. So there you can see there's uh, a website you can look at uh, and the programmers and uh, other bits and bobs. We want options. So we'll leave everything as it is apart from I want keys. And then we'll have I for info and Q for quit. Save yes right so let's have a look at Radax sphere and here we are and as I said excellent tune um, you can see our character in the middle of the screen uh, to the bottom right we have um, life which you can pick up new potions which is the red um, red potion there we have 10 and then below that is shot uh, our wizard can fire a magical spell that kills creatures uh, and then below that when it says not out of 50 uh, if you if you kill 50 baddies you basically level up you become stronger uh, and then uh, we have gold to collect which could save your life if you have more than 10 gold when you die you get resurrected 
Um, so anyway, let's let's crack on. Oh, above that, the yellow blob is a mini map, um, which fills in automatically as you go around, which is really handy because the level's quite big. Um, also worth mentioning is that the uh, the actual level itself is totally random. It's different every time you play, as is where the baddies are situated and all the collectibles. So what we need to do is find the key and the exit and kill everything inside. <laughs> anyway, let's get off. So here we have uh, a flower. If we push up against that, it'll tell you, oh, it's a cross. <laughs> it's just the cross is empty, nothing in it. We get a gold coin. And it's giving us a hint there, look. Collect 10 coins to survive, like I said. I said that. So we look inside. Now we've found a potion now. Now you cannot collect more than you are than full. So if I collect that now, it's just a waste. So we're gonna leave that. Uh, you can see the flashing spot on the map, so you, you can find it again. Oh, we found the key already. Awesome. We'll pick this coin up. And then that's uh, for your shot potion. So we'll save that also. Look, oh, there's a bug. Now, as you can see now, the bug will not move. They all, all the characters only move as you do. So if I move up, he'll move. And then we can go, shoot, kill the bug. Ah. And then there's a ghost there, look. The ghosts take two shots at present. But as I level up, uh, my shot becomes stronger. So eventually they only take one. So look, she shot him once and then he gets to move. So if I'm too close, now he'd hit me. And then he's deaded. And there's a bug, kill the bug. Kill the ghost. Kill the skeleton. So as you can see now, it's potions down to three. So we only have three shots left. You can kill them at close quarters. The only issue being, um, they hit you. And uh, you can soon run out of life. Kill the bug, kill the skeleton. So now I have no shot at all. So what we can do is we can go back, following the little minimap, and pick that potion up. And now we've got 10 shots again. Right. Let's go down here. Oh, another potion. It's been very, very great, very uh, friendly to me this time. Sometimes. <laughs> All the potions you need to collect are miles away, and um, it's a struggle to get through the level. There's nothing in there. We could just exit now, but I like to clear the levels. And to be honest, if you don't level up by taking all the baddies out, um, later levels become very, very difficult. So it's worth clearing them out. Another potion. Right, we'll take that one because we're out again. It really is a great tune this. Um, and I love the colourful graphics. And um, yeah, the mini map's great. I would get totally lost without that. Oh, go down here. See what's down here? Skeletons. Oh, I've got no shot left. So, uh, run away, run away, run away. I think I left one up here, didn't I? Run away. I run away from the ghosty. There we go. Shoot, shoot. Thought he had me there, but he didn't. <laughs> What's in here? Coin. Skeleton and a bug. There are more baddies than you see in now. Um, it, the game saves them for the later levels. Uh, I've seen uh, a skeleton with a bow and arrow, which really struggle with. Uh, hang on. I've got no shot, so what I can do is hit him. 
that hint there was something I failed to mention as well. You can hide from the baddies. Oh, that's handy. Another coin. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I really do like finding new games for the day. For the old systems. Uh, it's all well and good spending ridiculous sums of money <laughs> on things that you had as a child. But it's nice to see what modern programmers can do with their old favourites. Um, you tend to find that games of types got no shot again. Kill him. I'm all right as long as my health doesn't get too low. Oh, that was a lucky find. <laughs> Sometimes you don't find any for ages. So I need to keep an eye on my health now. What were I saying anyway? Uh, yeah, it's nice to see what modern programmers do with the uh, old systems because you end up with types of games that, that, that weren't about when we were kids because they hadn't been thought of, you know? Die. Oh, shouldn't be doing that. Running into characters now. I'm very close to deaded. No shot. Run away. Run away. <laughs> I put me in a bad situation here. Running away. <laughs> yep, that's it. I'm deaded. <laughs> yeah. Game over. Yeah, I really didn't pay attention enough there. I was too busy waffling. Uh, what I should have done is backed off and gone back to the earlier part of the level where I'm pretty sure I saved a health potion. Um, absolutely brilliant, though. I'm back to the start. If I'd have had 10 coins, it'd have given me the option to uh, continue, but <laughs> I didn't because I'm rubbish. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's just a quick look at Radark's Rift Sphere. Um, brilliant. Yeah, great fun. Right, I'm going to knock you off now, and I'm going to play it on my own. <laughs> yeah, as ever, thanks for watching, those who did. Catch you later. Bye-bye.